1983, I got transferred to a building in Southampton Road. Sorry, Exhibition Road, down from Hyde Park and round from the Albert Hall, where the National Sound Archive was based. And it's a Queen Anne style building. It's a listed building built in the late 19th century and was originally built as a large house, National Sound Archive, but in its time, I think the uh, ground floor stroke basement had been a male brothel and all that kind of thing. And it was haunted. Well, it still is haunted, even though the uh, people that worked there were nuttier than the ghosts. And it was haunted in, in not a good way. Um, there was a living caretaker who himself had problems, but I, I did believe the stories he told me. Um, and the basement and lower ground floor at uh, that time were record stores, vinyl records. And it would be his job at a weekend when people had been in to listen to the material and stuff um, to replace things on the shelves and uh, a couple of things that were similar happened that he told me about and was backed up by the guy that had been there assisting at the time. He would put the records on the right place on the shelf but leave them sticking out to make sure before he pushed them back in. And so he spent the morning doing that. He pushed them all back in, turned around to go off and have his lunch and they were all sticking out again. And then on another occasion, I think he put them in there and they, I don't exactly fallen out on the floor, but they'd come back out again. But from my own point of view, though I really liked the building and was responsible while I was there for sorting out its renovation and everything, sometimes if the caretaker was out for the evening, I would stay behind. It was part of my job to stay behind and lock up because he had his own front door key if he was getting back, but I had mm -hmm. to lock up. And I hated locking up because you would start on the top floor, it was about the fifth floor, and check that all the machinery had been turned off, tape recorders and everything else. I can't even remember the maker. They had one of the first 36-track mixing desks in uh, the country, or 32-track. It wasn't particularly. It wasn't particularly big, but at the time it was. So you'd work down turning everything off, and top floor, the attics, absolutely fine third floor hated the third floor i just had this feeling that i was being watched that there was something waiting there and i would slam all the lights off but once you were below the third floor although the feeling went away a bit it was there enough to third floor down you do it as quickly as possible and rush out the front door kind of thing and the caretaker and i think somebody else when we were up the pub once, they all said that they didn't like the third floor particularly. So although spooky things happened in the basement, he didn't feel he didn't feel particularly bad down in the basement. But it's this third floor. It was. Do you know the history of it at all? Like I probably did at the time. I didn't keep it, but the, but they renovated it, and there's, because it's Grade One listed, the Sound Archive or the British Library did sell it, but. The, its use would have had to be particular kind of use there. Would